Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the Exiled Lands, in map square G5, building a cottage. This build was suggested by Noct, and it's designed as a small, rustic, comfortable house for one or two residents. This build uses mods throughout construction and decoration, with the main mod used being the Dude's Delightful Decorations, though you could build this without mods. The full list of mods and their load order can be seen, as usual, in the pinned comment below. As usual, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. You can get 68% off a 2 year deal plus a month free when you visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout. Stick around until the end of the video to learn more about how to browse the internet safely and securely with NordVPN. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly I started off with of course the base plate. I used stone brick fence foundations to plan out the basic shape and room structure of the build, which I made fairly simple. I then capped off the fence foundations with stone brick ceilings on the exterior, insulated wood on the interior, and stable fences around the exterior edges. Next for the walls. I added wooden wedges on some sides of the build to create bay windows, which I then placed large tavern windows onto. I then used more of the tavern items from the dude's delightful decorations mod to build three separate rooms within the cottage, along with a small central corridor. I used large door frames throughout to keep the entire build open plan and feeling connected, which helps to cultivate a more cohesive atmosphere throughout the build. I built the walls for the ground floor two tiles high. Next for the first floor. I capped off the ground floor rooms with wooden ceilings, onto which I built roof gables, and then built the walls of the first floor atop the largest room on the left side of the build. I built these walls one tile high, and then built roof gables onto the walls, also placing wall caps on the sides of the walls to facilitate the roof gable roof pieces I'll use later on. Next for the roofs. 
After placing fences inside the build and on the top balcony, I chose to use tiled roof pieces to create simple roofs over the build. I chose this material as I think it best fits the typical idea of a cottage and holds that rustic natural feeling I'm aiming for. These roofs were very simple to make, nothing too complex, just basically following the flow of each roof. I also used wedge and inverted wedge roof pieces to connect the bay windows into the walls on the ground floor. I would later extend some of the roofs out to create overhang and add some more depth to the roof structure of the build, as you will see in the furnishing phase, and I also extended out the front porch. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, I've lit the home with brass lanterns for a warm yet softly balanced lighting. Entering the build, all rooms are easily accessible from the front door. In the right side room is a small lounge, a simple place of relaxation that has been decorated in careful fashion, to be slightly cluttered but in a very lived in and natural way. Down the corridor on the left side we reach the kitchen. This is a very small kitchen design that actually works wonderfully well for this build, and definitely feels like a rustic functional kitchen design that suits this cottage well. Across the corridor is the dining room. This room is again thoroughly decorated to look like the room has been used regularly, and has many different ornaments and decorative items that help to build the atmosphere of this room. There is also a small bathroom attached to this room which sits just underneath the staircase. The back outdoor section of this build is a relatively small veranda with outdoor seating, a perfect place to relax and take in the views from atop this cliff.
Heading upstairs, we finally reach the bedroom, which provides a place to rest along with some seating, desks and storage options. The bedroom also has a private attached balcony, with a large sun cover to protect from the harsh heat of the desert. And there we have it, a cottage in the Exiled Lands, in Map Square G5. Thanks for watching, I quite enjoyed this build and I think the decoration helped to build a really cosy atmosphere that makes for a great place to live. As I mentioned earlier, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. If you want to stay safe on the internet and ensure you can't be tracked by shady individuals, or whilst being able to access Netflix, BBC iPlayer, ITV, Hulu, HBO and more regardless of where you live, all whilst maintaining blazing fast internet speeds, NordVPN is the perfect choice for you. When you use my link or discount code you can get 68% off a 2 year deal, which comes out to $3.71 a month, an absolute bargain price for such a great service that I use almost every day. The software is a small download and it's easy to use one click and you're both connected and protected, and you have full access to the internet. Nord also has very strict policies on protecting your data, meaning you can browse in confidence. Visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout to claim this huge discount and get the best VPN service available on the internet and also help me out a lot at the same time. As always, thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos, as usual absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. Again don't forget you can get 68% off NordVPN when you use code ERADYT at checkout or you can go through my affiliate link in the description and pinned comment below. YouTube is currently my full time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note a thanks to our current patron Sammy, Sodialot, Randar, MK Pantheon, Sergeant Swede, and Shannara. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Conan Exiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.